In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 1996 Amy problem number 5. So we have, suppose the roots of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 11 are a, b, and c, and that the roots of x cubed plus rx squared plus sx plus t are a plus b, b plus c, and c plus a, find t. So we're given the roots, we're not given the roots, but we have variables for the roots a, b, and c, and we're asked to find the constant term on this other cubic, which we have basically no information about. So we're going to try to find, find information about it. First, I'm going to focus on the cubic we're given, x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 11. Let's focus on this cubic right over here. Let's find information about the roots. First, we can figure out the sum of the roots. That's just a plus b plus c, and that's negative 3. Now let's find more. We can find the pairwise product. b plus b c plus a c, and this is equal to positive 4. And then we can figure out the product of the roots a, b, c is equal to 11. And we can figure all of this out using Vieta's formulas. Let's make that a better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, a, b, c. So we have these expressions for the roots. Now let's focus on the polynomial, which we'd have barely any info about. Okay, so we have this polynomial, and it has roots a plus b, b plus c, and c plus a. Let's figure out the sum of the roots, which is, well, let's try to simplify this. a, so we have a and a is 2a, b and a b is 2b, 2c, so 2a plus 2b plus 2c, that's 2 times a plus b plus c. It's easy to figure out that that is just negative 6, since we know a plus b plus c is negative 3, times 2 is negative 6. Now we can figure out the pair, we can't really figure it out, but the pairwise is a plus b times b plus c plus a plus b times c plus a. And then at last we have c plus a times, what is it, b plus c? Yeah, b plus c. So we have, the. this is the pairwise, and the pairwise is just going to be s. And now the product of the roots, that's pretty easy to write, that's a plus b times b plus c times c plus a, and you multiply all this out, you get negative t. Again, you should use Vieta's formulas to figure that out. All right, there we go. So we have the product of the roots, we have the pairwise, and then we have the sum of the roots. So now what can we use to figure out t? Now we have negative t, which is this. We know what t is, t is the negative of the product of the roots. So I'm gonna focus on the product of the roots. Now, the way I'm gonna get the value of the product of the roots is by combining expressions over here. I have a plus b plus c, a b plus b c plus a c, and a b c. Now let's see what I can combine. I'm gonna, when I combine, I multiply. First off, I'm multiplying a b c times a plus b plus c. This gives us terms w w where you have, gives us monomial terms where you have three variables. Now let's take a look at this expansion. Let's expand this. When, when we expand this out, we're going to first expand this to get a quadratic and multiply by this. We're still, we're going to keep two terms. And we're going to have some three terms, but this is going to give us weird stuff, right? We have a squared. This is going to give us terms with monomials with degree that is greater than three, with three 
three like terms or like variables i guess one term if it's a product but um the variables but when i multiply this out let's go ahead and multiply this out right so when i multiply this out and this is kind of intuitive that it won't work but You get this from the first expansion, then you have to expand this term out, and you get a squared b plus a squared c plus b squared a plus b squared c plus c squared a plus c squared b plus you get two abc terms, I think. There we go. That's this expansion. The only terms where we have three is from this and now if we go back to here when i multiply a b c times a plus b plus c i get three of those terms with three of these and you have to multiply three times well you don't have to multi multiply three times but you still get three like you get a squared b c b squared a c and c squared a b which shows up nowhere here so we can't combine a b c and a plus b plus c what if i combine these two well, again, the same problem erupts. I get a squared b, a b squared, the entire thing squared, a squared b squared, c, plus b squared c squared, a. None of these terms show up at all. What if I combine these two expressions? Well, a squared b, b squared c, c squared a. A lot of these terms are showing up. So I think I'm going for these two expressions. So let's go ahead and expand this times the pairwise nope a b go ahead and expand this because so we get a b plus b c plus a c okay now i get a squared b plus this is a b c okay plus a squared c looking pretty good right now i get b squared a from that plus b squared c and then i get another abc term looking good so far and the last one i get another abc term and i get c squared b plus c squared a I'll separate my work over here so I don't get confused. There we go. So, basically, this expansion has the same terms, right? A squared B, A squared C, B squared A, B squared C, C squared A, C squared B. Same stuff over here. Here we have two ABC. When I combine these ABC terms, I get three ABC. Now, 3abc 2abc i know i never expected for this expansion to be exact but we're almost there the only way i get from this expansion to this is this expansion is if i take out a if i subtract abc from this so i gotta subtract abc from this and then i get this and these cancel, you're left with a, two ABC terms. And now this expansion is the same as this expansion, which means we have an expression for negative T. So we basically have our answer. We just need to multiply by negative 1 to get the answer. So we have A plus B plus C is negative 3. So now comes for the evaluation. So let's see, A plus B plus C is negative 3. Uh, the pairwise product is 4, and then minus ABC is minus 11, and that yields negative 12 minus 11 equals negative 23. And we got to watch out here. We're taking the, we're doing the Amy, so obviously negative 23 can't be an answer. We have negative T equals the product of the roots. Product of the roots is negative 23. So you have negative t equals negative 23, which yields t equals 23. So t equals 23. Read the question. Find t. t is 23. So 
So if t is 23, our final answer is 23, 0, 2, 3. Thank you.